What is GraphQL and how does it differ from REST API? GraphQL is a query language for ARPAS that allows the client to specify exactly what data it needs from the server. Unlike REST API, which retrieves fixed data from different endpoints, GraphQL allows clients to retrieve only the data they need in a single request. What are the advantages of using GraphQL over REST API? GraphQL provides a flexible and efficient approach to building ARPAS by allowing clients to request only the data they need, reducing network requests, and minimizing the amount of data transferred. It also enables faster development and iteration, since changes to the schema can be made without breaking clients. What is a schema in GraphQL? A schema in GraphQL defines the types of data that can be queried and how they are related. It specifies the structure of the data, the operations that can be performed, and the inputs and outputs of those operations. What are the different types of scalar types in GraphQL? The scalar types in GraphQL include int, float, string, boolean, and id. Int and float represent numerical values, string represents textual data, boolean represents true or false values, and id represents a unique identifier. What are the resolver functions in GraphQL? Resolver functions are responsible for returning the data requested by a query or mutation. They are functions that match the fields requested in the query to the corresponding data sources, such as databases, ARPAS, or other services. How do you define a query in GraphQL? To define a query in GraphQL, you create a query string that specifies the fields to be retrieved and their corresponding types. The query is then passed to the server, which returns the requested data in the specified format. What is a mutation in GraphQL and how do you define it? A mutation in GraphQL is used to modify data on the server. It is defined in a similar way to a query, but with a different keyword and a set of input arguments that specify the data to be modified. The mutation is then passed to the server which applies the changes to the data source. How do you define a subscription in GraphQL? In GraphQL, a subscription is defined using the subscription, keyword followed by the subscription name, input parameters, if any, and the fields that should be returned when the subscription is triggered. What is Apollo Server and how do you use it in GraphQL? Apollo Server is a GraphQL server that helps to build GraphQL ARPAS by providing features such as caching, error handling, and subscriptions. To use it, you need to create a schema and resolvers for your API and then configure Apollo Server with those schema and resolvers. What is Apollo Client and how do you use it in GraphQL? Apollo Client is a GraphQL client that helps to fetch data from a GraphQL API by sending GraphQL queries and mutations. To use it, you need to configure it with the URL of your GraphQL API and then use it to send queries and mutations. What is the difference between GraphQL and Relay? GraphQL is a query language for ARPAS while Relay is a JavaScript library that helps to fetch data from GraphQL ARPAS by managing caching, batching, and pagination. Relay uses GraphQL under the hood to communicate with the API. How do you handle errors in GraphQL? In GraphQL, errors are returned as part of the response along with the data. You can handle errors by checking the errors field in the response and handling them accordingly in your application. What is batching in GraphQL and how does it work? Batching in GraphQL 
is a technique that allows multiple queries to be combined into a single request to reduce the number of requests sent to the server. The server then processes the combined request and returns the results for each query separately. What is introspection in GraphQL and how do you use it? Introspection in GraphQL is a feature that allows you to query the schema of a GraphQL API at runtime. You can use it to retrieve information about the types, fields, and directives available in the API and use that information to generate documentation, validate queries, or build tools that work with the API. What is a directive in GraphQL and how do you use it? A directive in GraphQL is a way to attach metadata to fields or types. You can use it to modify the behavior of a query, mutation, or subscription. What are fragments in GraphQL and how do you use them? Fragments in GraphQL are reusable sets of fields that can be included in queries. You can use them to simplify queries and avoid code duplication. What is a union type in GraphQL? A union type in GraphQL allows you to define a field that can return objects of different types. It is useful when you have multiple types that share some common fields. What is a schema stitching in GraphQL? Schema stitching in GraphQL is a technique that allows you to combine multiple GraphQL schemas into a single schema. It is useful when you have multiple services that expose their own schemas and you want to create a unified API. What is federation in GraphQL and how does it work? Federation in GraphQL is a way to split a single schema into multiple smaller schemas that can be managed independently. Each smaller schema represents a domain or a service and they can be federated together to form a unified API. What is the role of subscriptions in GraphQL real-time applications? Subscriptions in GraphQL allow clients to receive real-time updates from the server. They are useful when you need to push data from the server to the client in real-time, such as in chat applications. How do you secure a GraphQL API? To secure a GraphQL API, you can use authentication and authorization mechanisms, such as JWT tokens, OAuth 2.0, or API keys. You can also use rate limiting and input validation to prevent attacks. What are the best practices for designing a GraphQL API? The best practices for designing a GraphQL API include defining clear and consistent naming conventions, designing a schema that is flexible and easy to maintain, using descriptive and meaningful comments, and following the single responsibility principle. How do you handle pagination in GraphQL? Pagination in GraphQL can be handled by using the first and last arguments to limit the number of results returned and the after and before arguments to specify the cursor position for fetching the next or previous page of results. What is a data loader in GraphQL and how do you use it? A data loader is a utility that helps optimize batch loading of data in GraphQL. It works by caching and batching requests for data, which reduces the number of requests made to the database. To use data loader, you need to define a batch loading function that returns a promise, and then use the load function to load the data in the resolver. What is the difference between type GraphQL and GraphQL Nexus? Type GraphQL and GraphQL Nexus are both libraries that allow developers to write GraphQL ARPAs in a strongly typed manner. The main difference between them is that Type GraphQL provides decorators to define the schema, while Nexus uses a more functional approach. Additionally, 
Type GraphQL has better integration with TypeScript, while Nexus is more flexible when it comes to schema customization.